Hey guys, welcome back to Frenchy with Karen. I know it's been very long since I've created a new video um, and a new mini lesson, so I'm really sorry for that, but welcome back to my channel. And a huge warm welcome to any of you who are new to my channel. So Friendship with Karen is a lovely, lovely uh, new YouTube initiative that I began uh, simply to help anybody with their AS level French examination. Or simply if you're a beginner and you are willing to improve your French a little bit more um, to get like good, good, you know, sort of progress on your essay writing or uh, your grammar. This is a lovely place to be in, and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that below. You can also click in the bell icon if you haven't done that. At the same time, if you want to follow me on Instagram to get a little bit more updates on my life in general, you can do so over here. So that's my Instagram account. Um, and without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so today we will be discussing a little bit on how um, we have a lot of different adjectives in French and how do we convert some of those adjectives into verbs and what are their meanings in English. So that's something we're going to touch upon today. Now we do know there's a lot of different verbs that we have, for example, to sing, to dance, um, to, to cook. For example, we have manger, chanter, danser. So we have so many different verbs. But have we ever realized that we can actually generate verbs from the adjectives itself? And that is a very important skill, especially if you're doing your AS level uh, reading and writing paper. If you're not doing that, that's okay as well because it's a lovely thing to know and just to keep in mind um, because it's a very handy skill to use and being able to convert an adjective into a verb is a very useful skill to learn about. So let's say if we are talking about an adjective called blanc, how do we change blanc into a verb? Now I do know sometimes it's a little bit tough to keep up with what I'm talking. So what you could do is on the right hand, on the left hand side, you would be able to find a very nice helpful teaching material that goes alongside with what I'm saying. And in that way you would be able to keep yourself up to date while watching this video. So let's say if we have blanc. Now if we wanted to change that into a verb, what we would do is we would add a H I R and that will become blanchir. Now blanchir means to whiten. So example would be, uh, let's say if you're getting pale, um, that is a certain, like for example, let's say you've seen something very scary and then after seeing that particular thing, you've turned, um, you've whitened your skin because you're too scared of something. For example, uh, je le vois, je le vois et uh, je blanchis, you know, so I looked at it, I saw it, and I was whitened. So that is a particular way that you can possibly use this verb. Another verb I want to introduce is bleu. Now, bleu means blue. And again, if I want to turn this into a verb, you just need to change it into an IR verb. So that will become bleuir. Another example would be bon. Pon means brown, and brown, if you're turning that into a verb, that's going to be ponir. Similarly goes for all the other color adjectives. For example, we have jeune, jeunir, and then noir, noircir, and then rouge, rougir, vert, verdir. Now these are all how you would change the color verbs. So you're trying, your aim is usually to turn it into an IR verb. Now another verb I want to discuss about is a little bit that goes uh, beyond colors and it's more about uh, the size, the shape, um, the speed, etc, etc. So let's delve into that. So, for example, let's say we're talking about large. Large means just large in general. So if I wanted to change that into a verb, it's going to be élargir. Élargir here, it means to enlarge in. Now, for example, let's say if you had a picture and you want to enlarge in that. So you could say, uh, maintenant, uh, j'ai une photo et je, je voudrais que je peux le élargir. 
So I have a photo and I want to be able to enlarge in it. So that is a particular way you could possibly uh, make use of this verb. Another verb to introduce is lent. Now lent would mean slow. If I wanted to turn that into a verb, we're going to say ralentir. Ralentir means to slow down. Let's say if we're walking, if we're having our car on a very steepy and a very icy road and our car could possibly slip or anything like that, then we would say uh, we could slow down our car. So, nous uh, ralentissons notre uh, voiture quand nous sommes passés um, leur maison. So, we will slow down our car when we uh, when we had passed through your house, let's say. You know, that could be a particular way of using it. Leur, lourd, sorry, lourd. Lourd means to be heavy. Now, à leur dire is to be heavier. Now, that is another way that you could turn it from an adjective into a verb. The next one I want to introduce is maigre. Maigre would become into maigrir. Now, for majority of the verbs that we have in adjectives, when we're turning it into a verb, our, our foremost aim is going to be turning it into a IR verb. So majority of the verbs that I'm discussing with you right now, and even if you look at it on your screen at the moment, majority of the ones that we've discussed so far is turning into an IR verb. Another example, bleu, sorry, beau. Beau means to be beautiful. Now, embellir means to beautify. So if something has turned more beautiful, we will say embellir. Next, court. If we have court, that means short, we will say raccourcir. That means to shorten. So again, we have our adjective and we're turning that into an IR verb. The next one, dur. Dur means to be hard, very strong. Durcir means to harden. And then we have grand, grandir, cro, grossir, and then we have jeune, rajeunir. Now that's a very interesting verb to look at because rajeunir, we add the ra before the verb, the adjective jeune, and then we formulate it in a way that turns rajeunir. So that means, um, to rejuvenate or to become younger, you know? So like when you're going backwards, that's generally called as rejuvenating. Okay, and then we have led, enlaidir, that means to uglify. Pal, palir, that means to fade. So something that's fading off, we're gonna say palir. Profonde, approfondir, so to deepen. And then sal, salir, means to be dirty. Ve, venir means to grow old. So these were some of the verbs that I particularly wanted to discuss about because of how they turn from an adjective into a uh, verb. And the main idea in this entire video is to let you know that if you see an adjective, majority of the time you want to turn that into a IR verb. And I really hope you found this video helpful. If so, make sure to subscribe and follow me on my Instagram account. You would be able to find the link to my Instagram account in the description below. At the same time, if there is anything specific that you want me to create a video on, feel free to let me know. Until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!